Okay, hello, my name is Jason Dragon, Emerald Computers, and today we're here to show off the RX 480 video card. All of these video cards come with 4 gigs of RAM, and this particular one has been opened. I have four more that we're going to do the original, brand new unboxing here in a few minutes. So this is the one that I have on my personal computer. It's the Twin Froster 5, or 6 actually. RX 480 with 4 gigs of RAM from MSI. One of the big differences between this one and the other MSI one is this one has a much bigger fan, but the other one, strangely enough, is actually overclocked. So when you get in here, is you get a nice little sticker that was actually on the video card itself. You get a little card to register it. They had some protection rubber on the bottom of it in a really, really nice box with lots and lots of padding. It did come with a really nice ESD bag. And you get this really cool folder um, that you can use for various things. You can actually use this to recycle it and use it for paperwork later on. Inside this, you have a giant poster on how to use the video card, along with a CD with the drivers. Now, honestly, obviously everybody should not be using the drivers on the CD. We have no idea how old those are. And the RX 480, if you're going to be using it for gaming, benefits a lot from getting the better drivers. So you want to get the best drivers. Now, if you're using the RX, Seri RX 480, for Ethereum mining, then you want to get either 16.1 or 16.3 drivers uh, for the RX 480 series. Those work the best. So now, we're going to go to the fun part that we've all been waiting for. We're going to start opening up some brand new product. Well, we started with the MSI Twin Frosters 6, so let's go with the MSI Armor Series card. So there's no tape, well, yeah, there's no tape on this box, so no like tamper evident box packaging. And that's what the back looks like. And on the front right here they give you their helpline, of course it's in Taiwanese and it only has a Taiwan phone number, so I don't know how useful that is. Um, here we have the same folder as the other box. This one does not have the really cool Dragon Shield logo uh, because this one is not part of the Dragon series. In this box is an envelope and nothing else. And let's see what's in the envelope. It's the pretty much exact same poster that was in the other box and a CD. Okay, very impressive. Let's see what else we have next. And that was sarcasm. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So this looks just like the R9 490. I mean 480. Um, oh, shoot. R9 380. It has the exact same heat sink that the R9 380 of Armor Class did. And in fact, we actually just had a few of those. Um, I actually have two of them running in Ethereum rigs right over there. So let's open this. Okay, we're going to open the ESD bag on this. Okay, so at first glance, it does have a slightly different one than the R9. The R9, these are copper, and there's actually an extra one on there. Uh, this also has an 8-pin adapter instead of the two sixes. 8-pin um, adapter is the same as two sixes. And then on the bottom, we have the red protective plastic, yet again, like I showed you earlier. And on this one, it's a lot different. Uh, we have one DVI, and it looks like we have two HDMI, and two DisplayPort. So, looks like there's five connectors, and I believe this video card will be able to hook up four monitors simultaneously. Very, very nice. Very awesome hardware. So let's go to the second one. The second one, also RX 480 Radeon, 4 gigs of RAM. This one is from ASUS. Now all of these cards can be purchased for around $200, $220, 
depending on where you find the good deals at. This one did have an actual factory seal, so we know it's never been opened. So that's a very nice box. This is like a Jaguar or Cougar or something on there. Very good. And for this video, now for this one here, wow, that's a really high quality box. The ASUS has gold lettering. Very good. In Search of Incredible. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but ASUS seems to have a different tagline about every nine months or so. <laughs> it's pretty interesting when they're so inconsistent. Okay. So now we have the foam. Ooh, this one's very pretty, very white. I wasn't expecting that. So let's see what we got here. The fan blades here look more simple. On the other one, they had a really glossy look. The heat sink on this one definitely has more blades. It is a little thicker. And the back plane is identical to the other one. Except, no, it isn't. The HDMI and the DisplayPort ones are, are inverted and switched. Um, the DVI port does not have the four pins. The other one also did not have the four pins. So that's going to be this one here. So we're going to put that right there. I'm going to put that aside. Okay, so the reason we picked these cards is because they're one of the most efficient cards for mining Ethereum right now. There we go. Next we're going to move on to the Sapphire Radeon RX 480 yet again. Um, Yet again, this one actually has a nice little seal on it, too. <coughs> ah, so this is more of a basic cardboard box. It, this one has a cool robot as their theme. So we'll put that one over here. It's definitely a smaller box. That's a good thing. Uh, we don't need all this packaging. Uh, this one comes with a DVD, a CD, a little itty bitty how to contact them piece of paper, and then the installation guide, and some sort of guide about very important things that keep saying important, important, important. Product registration, it says. Okay, good. So this is the first one to have really nice bubble wrap ESD bag. Wow, this is thick. And there it is. Nitro Series. So earlier today I had another Nitro Series Sapphire um, from the RX R9 series. So this one also has the 8 pin just like the um, other two did. So all three of them so far have the 8 pin. This one has a really nice aluminum back panel. Um, nice cutouts right there. This is a very nice card. This one feels quite a lot heavier. It's about 50% heavier than the ASUS card. Um, the MSI card is also a lot lighter. And both the ASUS and the MSI card have no protective backplate. Um, to me, that's a pretty major negative. I would not like that, especially when the Sapphire is the identical price of these other two items. So, as of now, for just looks and feel, the Sapphire is winning. Okay, so let's go and we're going to go to our last one, the Red Dragon Power Color. Saving this for last because my last name is Dragon, as I said before. So I always like to have dragons. Ah. So the tape's a little bit, this is a lot tighter than the other ones. This one just uses standard scotch tape. There is no logo on their seal like the other two had. Okay, very firm box. And that's pretty nice. Let's see what else is in the box real quick. So just a little piece of paper and that um, power color usually doesn't provide a lot of stuff. The nice thing about power color is they're, they usually run a little bit faster. They overclock their things a little bit more. 
Um, we're going to watch our follow-up video in a day or two, actually about a week or two. We're going to analyze all four of these video cards along with my Twin Froster and we're going to analyze all of this for how it works uh, with Ethereum and we're going to get exact benchmark scores on all of that with all regular out-of-the-box settings. I'm not going to overclock it or, or mod any of them because you know, a lot of people don't aren't not interested in that for games. I mean, in 4D and mining. All right, so let's open up this one here. Wow, wow, look at that. So this is by far the heaviest of all of them. It is significantly heavier than even, well, a little bit, like a few ounces heavier than the sapphire. It's at least double the weight of that. And this is the first one to have that very new video card or new car smell as you can see. Um, you can see right there the little green soft foam that does the, the heat comp connectivity. Ah, now this is very interesting. This one only takes one six pin adapter. It does not have an eight pin adapter like the other ones. Um, <clears throat> eight pin adapter usually is for when computers need a lot of power and this one doesn't have it. Um, this one also does not have any protective plastic on the, the fingers or on any of the sockets. As I said before, Sapphire, you know, some of their products are some of the fastest out there, but they do skimp in some of the things that aren't important because in reality, you don't need that stuff. So it does only have one fan, but it is a little bit bigger than the other fan. Okay. So now that we have these video cards, let's put them all side by side so you guys can see them all. Okay, that's like a giant puzzle. So just in case you guys were wondering how long these are, because that is really, really important for a lot of cases, we're going to measure from here to there. So that one's nine and a half inches. This one's also exactly nine and a half inches. That one is nine and like an eighth, nine and an eighth inches. And this one goes a little bit past. So the PCB goes all the way to 10 and a half inches on the MSI. And I'm measuring it right from this metal line right here, as you can tell. This one is a, a lot different design than the others. It's, the heatsink is obviously just built on the PCB and it doesn't have anything on the back. This is actually a big gap right here. I can put my hand right through it, and that's the only one like that. Anyway, thanks for watching. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun testing these out. In my opinion, just from the unboxing, I would have to say the Sapphire wins. Um, it does have a lot better look, a lot better feel. It's a lot heavier duty. It did come with everything. Um, it did not come with a finger protector for some reason. But the power color was definitely very heavy. Uh, the power color one does have really nice copper tubing. It's very hard to see in there from your camera angle. Uh, anyway, that should be good. I'm not really impressed with the MSI. It's really lightweight, no protection. Um, this one, the plastic is really thin and cheap. I can definitely tell it moves. I mean, this one here is a lot nicer plastic. Um, this one also is very, very thick, nice plastic. And both of these have really nice back plates on the back. And a back plate to me, it's very important when, if you ship the computer for structural support. It also lets, it, lets a little bit of the heat come off of it. It protects it from damage in a lot of different ways. Um, you know, this right here, I mean, these, these chips right here are so fragile and yet there's no protection on the back of this computer here. So you have to make sure you're always setting those down on foam or when you put it down, put it upside down. The MSI one has a really, the, the plastic on this is a lot thicker than the ASUS, not as thick as the other two. It does have a cooler looking fan and I have heard some research that this particular fan blade configuration works really, really well. Anyway, we're going to be doing some benchmark tests, some heat dissipation tests. I might be getting a FLIR camera just to show you all this. Anyway, have a good day. Emerald Computers, Jason Dragon, goodbye.